World Heritage Day for Gibraltar is hugely significant. We know the wealth of heritage that, that we have in Gibraltar. Uh, we're very proud, for example, of our uh, world status as a World Heritage Site and all the work and the research that's going around with that. Uh, we're very proud of, of our, our built heritage, uh, be it military, fortifications, uh, uh, artillery, uh, our old buildings, um, our geology. So it, it's a, a great place for heritage. Um, we are working very, very hard to promote the heritage, to protect the her heritage, to better manage and administer our heritage. I, I think we've made huge progress in the past few years. And you've published uh, uh, what you're calling a new vision for Gibraltar's heritage. It's a consultation paper, so we are asking people to, to get involved, the community to get involved and to respond. The, the, the way that heritage is seen in Gibraltar has developed tremendously over the past few years. No longer have we ha do we have uh, bickering fights between the heritage trust and the government or developers and the government. We're all working together, we're working very well with NGOs, with developers, making sure that the, the benefits of heritage, that the, the economic benefits of heritage and that the protection of heritage all go together. So the chip has changed and, and we feel that the vision now has to reflect this changed approach. Uh, the people involved in drafting this are not just in the government, it's also Heritage Trust, the museum, the archives, Everybody has pitched in. Uh, you say there's an absence of bickering fights, but you are in the process of uh, exchanging statements with the GSD on the subject of heritage. Uh, the opposition party thinks that more should be done to promote the use of sites like Parsons Lodge, the Moorish Castle, um, the Stay Behind Cave. I can't believe how out of touch they are with what's happening in the world of heritage. Uh, the way that we are now meeting with all the stakeholders, the way that we're developing so much, our vision which we planned to, to, to issue today, all these things that are happening seem to have just flown over the head of Damon Bossino and, and the GSD. So my reaction to that is, uh, look, you need to catch up, you need to be real, you cannot use our heritage as a political tool just because an, uh, there's an election months away. Uh, you've got to recognize the hard work that's being done by all the stakeholders within and outside government and be bigger than all that. Uh, although they're not just tourist sites and, and the, that's not the only way, uh, as the government has said, that you measure uh, how well uh, a site has been managed, but could some of those sites, Parsons Lodge, uh, Moorish Castle, be made more accessible to the public? Moorish Castle, there was already a plan uh, to improve and to revitalize some of the parts of that as a cultural center, so that work is being done. Parsons Lodge had been tried as a commercial site in the past and failed um, and is now being used as a center for research, but it is available for tours. But there are other areas, for example, that we've opened up that have been closed and derelict for years, like Nuns Well, for example, which we rescued for the first time ever people can visit. So I think they're focusing it completely in the wrong direction. They're trying to uh, use diversionary tactics and make people see things that aren't really as important when we are doing so much more, which clearly it's not convenient for them to recognize.